Welcome back to a Unity tutorial. Now today we're going to talk about how to change scenes using Bolt or Visual Scripting depending on the version of Unity you have. Now whatever version of Unity or Bolt you have installed you should be able to follow along with this tutorial because nothing would have changed usually. So yeah let's get right into it. I have two scenes here. One scene one which is the one you can see now which has just got a PNG image, well, just an image uh, and the second one which is just pure em purely empty, there's nothing in it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the camera, we're going to attach a visual scripting component to it. You could set it on whatever object you want. And I'm going to add a script machine uh, and set it to embedded so we can edit scripts faster. Uh, because why not? And uh, you can later on convert it once you're done uh, with the scripting. So let's just delete all that and grab an on keyboard node, right there, an input node. So we can set the input to be well space, and we can leave it as down. And what we want to do is we want to uh, we want to tell Unity to get this scene. Uh, but to do that, let's first of all define the indexes of the scenes. It's like uh, on a book, you have indexes like in a dictionary or book recipe or whatever you have the no the number corresponds to the name of whatever you're looking for and that's exactly what we're going to do right now so let's go to build settings and since we're doing this for PC we can just add the, the scenes into this build the uh, scene in builds right here that's where you need to see them so you can just grab your scenes 1 and 2 and just put them in here and as you can see the index that is given to them starts from 0 as you can see over here and it goes what well, increments the, the value. So in this case one scene one is equal to zero, scene two is equal to one. And so once we've done that we can close it down, we can go back to our graph editor. And now we can look for the scene manager. And we can grab the load scene by build index right here. And as you can see, the, see, the uh, scene build index corresponds to the values that you want. Scene 1 is equal to 0, scene 2 is equal to 1, so we can set this to 1. Now when we play the actual scene, when we play the game, uh, when we press space, it should swap the scenes to be uh, scene, the second scene, which is index 1. And there we go. That's how you make scenes swap between whatever scene you want. Now obviously it's rare that you would use an on keyboard event you'll probably uh, use a collision event or something like that when your player collides with the finish line or whatever the event that causes you to finish the game or to swap the scene is uh, or it could be a button that is uh, also a very likely scenario. The, this is just for a showcase example so I hope you learned something and thank you very much for watching.